Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I wanted to continue our conversation uh, about Christian practices, those things that Christians do together over time to cultivate a way of life, a life of faith, a spiritual life, which orient us towards our ultimate goal as Orthodox Christians, which is theosis, deification, union with God, which is how we understand salvation, and also to the more immediate purposes of everything that we do in our life of faith, which is the cultivation of virtue like love and peace and gentleness, and also allowing us or affording us opportunities to experience God's presence in the midst of our lives. And so these are the things that we do. Now, oftentimes, as I've said before, we think that perhaps it's only certain things that we do as Christians that constitute Christian practices, like prayer or fasting. But as I've said over the past few days, there's more to it than that, because we do not compartmentalize our lives as Orthodox Christians. We consider all aspects of our life elements of our spiritual life, because we're a unified whole, body and soul. And so there are cer certain things that we do already, which with the proper orientation towards our ultimate goal, theosis or, or uh, our union with God, and towards the cultivation of virtue and allowing for the us to be aware of and make space for God's presence in our lives, we can consider them Christian practices as well. Now, I've already spoken about eating and meal prep and coming together for meals as Christian practices. And Christians have been doing this forever. Even the Eucharist itself started not as a grand liturgical act of the uh, Byzantine Empire, but it was, a, it was a meal shared amongst the disciples with a liturgical prayer read, a prayer of calling down on the, of the Holy Spirit so that uh, the bread and wine would become the very body and blood of Christ. And the rituals that emerged over time emerged out of that. And also I talked about how, um, we could, how the way we care for our body, with how we exercise, how we live our life in our bodies by going out into the world and seeing and hearing and touching and tasting and smelling God's creation is also an act of uh, of prayer, of, of connecting with God. And so even those things like going for a walk or, uh, or exercising or even, you know, washing ourselves or embracing one another, all of these are real Christian practices. Now, during these times where we might be concerned about finances and the economic stability of our nation and the, really the world, we might begin to be asking questions about, well, how do we best utilize our resources, our financial resources? And you may or may not realize it, but even that, even the way that we use our, 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 our financial resources, how we, uh, how we use the money that we have, uh, what we spend our money on, all of these are aspects of our spiritual life just as much as prayer and fasting and, as we heard, eating and how we care for our body. All of these are part of our whole life and therefore part of our spiritual life. It just needs to be reoriented towards God. How we utilize our financial resources can be prayerful and ought to be prayerful and oriented towards our ultimate goal of union with God and the cultivation of virtue. We be, should be virtuous in our use of our, of our blessings, of our financial resources. And so what we choose to spend our money on is an indication of our spiritual life and the state that we are in. And so when we think about our household economics as a practice, as a practice we need to remember that that too can be, can be and ought to be something that we do prayerfully. Um, and, so, and part of that is because we're reminded of, you know, what we hear in the gospel, like Matthew, where our treasure is there, our heart will be also. Because we, the things that we hold dear, the things that we treasure, that we, that we give value to, well, that's where we put our attention, our whole focus, our hearts are the center of our being in scriptural and, and ecclesi ecclesiastical language. It's who we are is our heart. And so what we direct our attention to, what we put our hearts, have our hearts set on, that is an indication of who we are. Now, 
That means that the way in which that we live our lives, the things that we choose to do with our, our resources are really important. We should always be mindful of how we can use our blessings to help others. So giving to the church, giving to charities are really important aspects of managing our household economics as Orthodox Christians. And also another thing, and this speaks to something that Father Vasilios mentioned in his video in his letter recently, that we really should spend some of our resources to cultivate a space within our home that's set aside for prayer. Prayer during these times, of course, when we are separated and unable to go to the Megali Ecclesia, the big church of, the, of our large community at Holy Trinity, but we find ourselves only able to pray in our, in our little church, in our homes. And so we ought to set aside space. As you can see behind me, that's my prayer space. I have an icon of Christ of Sinai, an icon of Holy Trinity, uh, the feast day of our community. I have an icon of St. Jonathan, a beautiful icon of Panagia, which you can't see behind me, but that's the set aside space that I have. I've invested time and, 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 and financial resources to create a space that's set aside for prayer. And so the way that we manage our household, the way that we utilize space in our household is also a practice that we should that we should get in the habit of orienting towards our relationship with God towards the cultivation of virtue towards fostering opportunities for the experience of God's presence because if we do that if we orient this aspect of our lives towards God we'll begin to see more and more clearly how every aspect of our lives is connected to our spiritual life, and not just connected to, an essential, integral part of our life of faith, our spiritual life. God bless you. We love you. We're here for you. Anything at all that you need, don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, uh, send us a message on social media, leave a message in the comments. If there's a topic that you want us to address in one of our videos, don't hesitate. We are here for you. We'd love to respond to each and every one of your requests. God bless you.